Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Uh, it is 3.14 p.m. on Monday, June the 4th, Central Time. And I was given a message to deliver to everyone um, out there. If you have found this, this is not a mistake. Um, it was absolutely meant for you to find this video and hear it um, for such time as this. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. So the Amplified Version, I'm just going to look at that. Do not quench, do not subdue, or be unresponsive to the working and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Do not scorn or reject gifts of prophecy or prophecies, spoken revelations, words of instruction or exhortation or warning. But test all things carefully so that you can recognize what is good. Hold firmly to what with that which is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Withdraw and keep away from it. Y'all, I feel so strongly that we have got to stop being so fearful of what other people are going to say or think about what the prophecies are that the Lord is giving us. We cannot be afraid to stand up and speak what the Lord is showing us. It says, do not quench, do not subdue, do not be unresponsive to the working and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was sent to us as our helper. The Holy Spirit, you know, is our guide. And if we are not listening and we are just stuffing his voice down every time he speaks or tries to move us, then we are hindering him. We are keeping, we are stifling the Holy Spirit. And we're now in a spiritual battle and we have to figure out how to become warriors for Christ and, and how not to stifle the Spirit because of not wanting to be labeled a fear monger or a you know, religious nut or whatever it is that the world, you know, it's, it's such a bad thing now to be a Christian. I mean, it is crazy. Christianity has been watered down. It's it's like, you know, sunshine and lollipops and, and go to church to feel good for a minute. But that's not what uh, the Lord, that's not what the Bible says, y'all. If, if we're going to stand on the Word of God, then let's stand on the Word of God and look what it says. And I hear the Lord saying, in the days of Noah, I destroyed the earth with water, but fire is now coming quickly. Heed these warnings and tell my people to prepare. Time is almost up. There is no time for delay. And by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been stored up for fire. They are being kept for the day of judgment when ungodly people will be destroyed. 2 Peter 3.7 but the vine was uprooted in fury and thrown down to the ground. The desert wind dried up its fruits and tore off its strong branches so that it withered and was destroyed by fire. Ezekiel 19:12. For I hold you by your right hand, I, the Lord your God, and I say to you, don't be afraid. I am here to help you. Isaiah 24, verse 1 destruction of the earth look the Lord is about to destroy the earth and make it a vast wasteland he devastates the surface of the earth and scatters the people priests and lay people servants and masters maids and mistresses buyers and sellers lenders and borrowers bankers and debtors none will be spared the earth will be completely emptied and looted the Lord has spoken the earth mourns and dries up, and the land wastes away and withers. Even the greatest people on earth will waste away. The earth is suffering for the sins of its people, for they have twisted God's instructions and violated His laws and broken His everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must pay now for the price of their sin. They are destroyed by fire, and only a few will be left alive. The Lord is showing me over and over that this world is about to be destroyed by fire and that he doesn't want to tell us these things because he wants us to be afraid. The urgency I feel is not to, I don't feel an urgency to hurry up and say these things and scare you. Um, I feel an urgency 
to share the message of Jesus Christ with you because I know that there is very little time before the judgment and that is the urgency I feel and I'm so thankful that the Lord woke me up just a few weeks ago I mean the beginning of March is when the Lord woke me up out of my sleep and told me time it's time to go to work it's time to get up it's time to pay attention this is what I called you to do and time's up we don't have any time left you have to get working get back to your post and that's what I did and that's why I'm here sharing this with you guys he says the Lord does not tell you this to scare you, but rather to comfort you in knowing that he has made a way to escape for all of us. So yes, all these things are happening. It's already started. I'm using a few clips here in this video um, of things that are just going on here in the last two or three weeks. Nothing going back last year. I'm not using old footage. I'm, I'm pulling up just the last two weeks, two, three weeks of, um, of devastation by fire on this earth all over. And right now the U.S. has been semi-spared, but we have got fire too. It's not just wildfires. It's not normal seasonal things that happen all the time. Um, this is not just, oh, it's the ring of fire, so everything's just going. No, this is a major uplift, um, uptick in volcanism, volcanic eruptions, earth changes, earthquakes. And um, as in the days of Noah were destroyed by floods, the earth will now be destroyed by fire in the judgment and the return of Christ is near he's made a way to escape for us tickets cannot be purchased at the gate the day of the judgment showed just so you know Yeshua has purchased a ticket in advance for you to receive your simply pray this prayer in your own words with a sincere heart come as you are no fancy words are required if you have questions of what's next or please comment or email and I will do my best to share what I've learned so far but Lord Jesus for too long I've kept you out of my life I know that I'm a sinner and that I cannot save myself no longer will I close the door when I hear you knocking by faith I gratefully receive your gift of salvation I am ready to trust you as my Lord and Savior thank you Lord Jesus for coming to earth I believe you are the Son of God who died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day thank you for bearing my sins and giving me the gift of eternal life I believe your words are true come into my heart Lord Jesus and be my Savior today amen those right now that have prayed that prayer that you would send the right people in their path and and, and give them discernment to not be led astray and to be able to grow and um, learn more about you and and learn how to spread the word about how God just changed their life in Jesus name I thank you guys so much thanks for watching and and don't forget to subscribe and like and share you can use my videos for anything you need to use them for if they're usable for a class or, or just to share with your friends um, something you're trying to say I don't know why God has made me make have had me make these videos I know to share with you but, but I don't know who it's for I just know it's for somebody and he told me to do it and I just need to be obedient and do it so I just want to lift all of those up that are being devastated right now by this destruction of fire that has already began on our earth I pray for those who have been harmed in the Fuego volcano I pray for all of those displaced right now um, in, and that are being displaced in all of Guatemala it, several have been killed but so many this affects um, and it's not just a volcano that in the ring of fire popped off this is serious this is a major 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 unrest in volcanoes and there's reasons behind it it's all lining up with the word and we knew this was coming and this is what God said would come and now here it is and it's time time is up there's no more time to waste